This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 10.2. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the Chapter 10 Supplemental Problems on page 2. Given this one transistor circuit with the transistor parameters of VB on equal to 0.7, VCE set equal to 0.2, and beta F equal to 100, can you find the base current, the collector current, and the collector emitter voltage by taking a guess as to the state of the transistor and also to verify that the state is correct? For us to do that, we need to identify the nodes. Here is the collector, the base, and the emitter of the transistor Q1. Let me guess saturation. Here I've got 10 volts back to ground, 2.7K resistor, and now my transistor between the collector and the emitter has a voltage source of VCE sat, which is equal to 0.2. Between the base and the emitter, I have another voltage source of 0.7, and I have a resistor of 10K back to ground. My base current enters the base, collector current enters the collector. Let's find the base current. The current in this direction is going to be this voltage, divided by 10K. But this voltage is the same as this one, but the opposite sign. This is equal to minus 0.7 volts, divided by 10K would be the base current, but that'd be a negative number. It needs to be greater than or equal to zero to be in saturation, so this is not in saturation. Since the base current was negative, let's guess cutoff. Let's see if that works. Just simply taking the last picture, just erasing the battery between the base emitter and the collector emitter, just labeling those voltages now need to show that the voltage across the base emitter is less than or equal to VB on, and that the collector and emitter is greater than or equal to zero. Now there's no current coming in the base, no current coming in the collector because of the open circuit. Let's fall for the voltage across here. With this current in this direction, we would get a drop in this direction. So zero times 10K would be this voltage, but that's the same as this voltage, but the opposite sign. And of course this is equal to zero, so this is equal to minus zero, or just zero. Is that less than or equal to 0.7? Yeah. Let's solve for the collector emitter voltage. With the current in this direction, we get a drop like this. The rise in voltage is VCE. The rise in voltage is 2.7K times zero equals the drop of 10 volts. Then VCE is equal to 10 volts. Is that greater than or equal to zero? Yes. So our state's been verified. And this is supplemental problem 10.2.